<laughs> That's more like it. <laughs> Yo, what's up guys, Sir Cooper here from Rama Time Gaming, here to talk about my theory and my predictions regarding Sony's E3 press conference, so without further ado, let's get it started. Yeah. Okay, first up guys, we're going to be talking about Uncharted 4. Now, Uncharted 4 was a highly, and still is, a highly anticipated game that was for 2015, but sadly, on March 11th, it was announced that it will be pushed back to the spring of 2016, which left people thinking, what do we have to be excited for for 2015 that's coming from Sony, which leads me to talk about Battlefront. All right, so moving on to Battlefront. Now, Battlefront is a game that is based off of a highly loved and internationally known movie, Star Wars, which was created by EA Electronic Arts, which is built around an engine by the name of Frostbite 3. Now, this game is the only other game that we have to look forward to, which we are all hoping that we'll hear a lot about at E3, which is one of the methods that they can use to take all the attention away from Microsoft, because at this point, with the PS4 sales beating out Xbox One sales, Microsoft needs this E3 to be something just be like, Ugh. but then Sony going to be like, oh, miss me, and that's just how we're going to go, but that is not all. I've also been wondering, will we hear anything about another infamous? I know there haven't been any real rumors, real rumors spreading around about it lately, but if you think about it, infamous is a highly only Sony based game that has a lot of success and that people really enjoy and me personally I am a very big fan of it. I love Cole and I love Dylan 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 What was his name? Bruh Delson Delson what is his name? Guess I wasn't as big of a fan as I said I was <laughs> but on a serious note I really hope that we hear something from Infamous because everyone loves it and I believe that they can take this to a whole new level. Maybe they can throw in co-op online where you can create your own person and give him his own powers and set up his own background, which that would be really cool. And I think that will bring in a lot of people and open up a whole playground for imagination, which brings me into Joe Montana 16. Okay, so I know this is about the Sony E3 press conference, but this is an important factor because Microsoft is going to use this as a tactic to steal the show away from Sony. Now, Sony, you have to pay attention to this closely because if Joe Montana 16, codename, which we all believe, the YouTubers I've talked to, the football gamers I've talked to, that is just a code name for NFL Pro 16. If that is shown at E3, Microsoft will steal the show from you. That is just a fact. Because if you don't come with something before them that really delivers to say, this is ours, <clears throat> Microsoft is going to be like, uh, so you thought, get that back here. So <laughs> that is going to to happen. That is going to happen if we don't get something good and important and just be cold like this water. Damn this. <sighs> Refreshing. Okay, well back on track, let's talk about Morpheus. Now Morpheus is a VR virtual reality that is used, a headset that is used to increase gamers experience and make everything more real. Now for E3, I feel like Sony isn't going to say that much about it because looking at it, looking at all the research, looking at all the prediction, it won't be out next year. It will probably be out late 2017, early 2018, so that is something to expect, but for right now, nothing coming soon from that. So, skipping Morpheus, let's go on to PS Vita now. Of course, PS Vita isn't a blockbuster hitting movie targeting thing that everyone goes and flies to automatically to pre-order. That is true, but Microsoft and Sony do support 
indie games and third party games, but Microsoft does not support it as much as Sony does. Sony, this is a secret weapon that you use every time to sneak under Microsoft. And then boom, attack. That was a vicious attack. I hope he's okay. You okay? Ain't nobody right there. But <laughs> honestly, third parties and PS Vita is a secret weapon that really need to be taken advantage of more often. So let's do this. E3, give us something good. All right, guys. Those were my predictions and my theories based off the E3 Sony press conference that is about to happen June 15th at 6 o'clock. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you do, leave a like. Whoop. And subscribe. See you later.